Hi there, welcome to Freddy's Nibbles. You'll notice I've got my gloves on, I've got my hat on. That's because we're going on tour. We're going to be taking this wagon over here. We're going to be going to that island over there. We'll be learning a bit of history. We'll be learning a bit of literature and they'll be nibbling. <laughs> We've just landed in the Isle of Iona where we'll be getting off this boat in only a matter of minutes. Welcome to Iona! On your left you've got your lounge bar and restaurant. Maybe we'll be trying it out later, who knows? You've got your public toilets there. This is Iona Abbey, possibly the Abbey of Iona, I forget. This is where Christianity in the United Kingdom was born. Here we are at St. Columbus Church. You can tell it's a church because of the two crosses here and here and the general church form. So big St. Columba back in 570 something came here from Ireland and made this. So I'm standing on the very site of St. Columba's writing hut, where he used to write all of his letters, postcards, anything that he would write would be from this very position. Coming up behind me, you can see St. Columba's tractor. Usually comes out at about this time every day, carrying a little grass in its shovel. Looking very new, I think this might be a new tractor. I've heard rumors that Macbeth himself may be buried in that graveyard. You'll notice a little scaffolding around this area. This is obviously not uh, original and probably temporary. Would likely, within the next 10 or so years, I think we'll see this scaffolding being moved away from this area of the building. We're gonna go inside and learn a little more about St. Columba now. Come on in. We're inside the Abbey now. We've got pointy arches here. We've got Bibles in many languages here. And we've got a few seats around the area as well. We're gonna head a little deeper into the Abbey now. Step forward in time to around the year 800 AD when the Book of Kells, my favorite book, was written here in Iona. It has more than 600 pages so it's a long read, but it's a good one. This could be Columba himself in this picture here. Now we're going to go to the beach, St. Columba's Beach on the Isle of Iona when he introduced beaches to the United Kingdom in around the year 346. This is the moment we've been waiting for, guys. It's nibbling time. Cooking in the outback is a little different from cooking in the kitchen. You need a few different accessories and a few different items. So we've got the outdoor cookinator here. Simply take off the lid, slide it upside down, take this bit out, and then that's about it. So today we're cooking up some sausages, also known 
as snorters, porkins, sizzlers, bangers, uh, les saucissons in French, and tubular delights. As you can see, they are frying up nicely in here now. We're getting a bit of heat on. Um, and then we'll get the bread out and make a little snort of sando. Now cooking for friends can be a real treat. Sure, they'll eat a couple of your tasty treats here and there, but that's okay because you've put a smile on their face. Okay, the sausages were just fantastic. And now we're gonna, for dessert, we're gonna be having some locally sourced date cake. Simply slice into it like so, peel it away, and you got yourself a slab. Delicious. Iona is also famous for its wildlife. Here you can catch a glimpse of the rare corn crake, an oyster catcher, or even if you're lucky, maybe an otter. So we've just uh, finished up our late luncheon, and now we're heading back to the ferry. What is Iona? Is it the Abbey? Is it St. Columba himself? Is it the white, white sandy beaches? And the answer is, it's none of these. Iona is an island. Filming. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs>